What's up? How are you guys this Friday? Figured we would do something a little different and I can show you guys all of my home gym equipment. Some of you might remember back when Toyota Corolla happened. Literally like the week before I bought a bunch of used gym equipment so that I could do my bodybuilding transformation. And you know, with the price of gyms in New York and especially if you factor in like your gas and time driving back and forth to the gym, you can get a nice home gym set up for two to three years worth of going to a, a commercial gym. And uh, the main reason is probably the radiation levels and the Wi-Fi. you know, at home you can control that. And the second reason is, you know, you're interacting with all these, you know, jabbed and injected people now, uh, plus just cleanliness of gyms in general. Th those were two really big things for me. And of course the time, you know, if you got to drive 20, 25 minutes to the gym, you could have worked out in the 40 minutes you were sitting in your car. So there's a bunch of reasons that you would wanna have your own home gym. And if you guys are looking to build your own home gym, I would check Facebook Marketplace and you'll probably find someone running a used gym equipment business and they can get you some stuff. It might take you a few trips, you might have to talk to a few different people, but this can be had for the fraction of the cost of new gym equipment. So let's get started. So this room is all the equipment that was in my house before I moved for the most part and a few things I just got. Functional trainer is a big one. You know, you can do so many exercises on the cables. You got the handle attachments, you got the rope attachments. Uh, you can even add like pull down attachments and stuff. That's the only machine I'm missing actually. If there was one machine I could add to this gym, it would be a lat pull down. Although you can still technically do lat pull downs on this. It's just not as high up. So really great piece of equipment. These can run a lot of money new. You know, I've seen them between $3,000 and $6,000. So uh, I didn't get that great of a deal on this. I don't remember exactly what I paid, but the point is when you buy used equipment, you're getting it for, you know, a quarter to a third of the price of the new equipment. Uh, this is pretty basic hammer strength squat rack. You could do your bench press. You could do your squats. I don't really do a lot of barbell stuff anymore. And then we do have the adjustable incline bench here. We could do the barbell movements or just do the dumbbell movements over there. This is a, a York deadlift platform. I think the guy was selling it for like 50 bucks. So I just bought it because um, it was so cheap. And if I do ever want to do deadlifts or something, I, ha I have the platform. These are kind of a pain to take apart and put together very heavy. You need a few guys. We did have these dumbbells from the house. Just, you know, light weights through 50 pounds. As I said, guys, you guys know I don't really do a lot of heavyweight stuff anymore. I'm mostly doing the lighter dumbbells. Uh, we got this dumbbell rack. I think it was $150 or $200 for the dumbbell rack to store them now, which is nice. Uh, these are some old grips that I had uh, from years and years ago when I was into grip strength stuff. That's just a lacrosse ball to get out some muscle knots. That's our weight rack holder because the positioning of the squat rack against the wall here, we can't really put them. And I got some more plates over there, but haven't been really doing too much barbell stuff lately. And uh, this used to be a workshop. So when I came into this house, I had to rip the, the wood off the walls. I still haven't had time to fix that yet, but that's this room. You know, I'll do some light dumbbell movements for shoulders usually, and maybe some, some back and chest stuff on the functional trainer. Also maybe some turns for like core and stuff. And then in here, which none of you guys have seen because I just got all of this equipment over here. You know, there was a, a few used equipment dealers in the area and they had some really cheap stuff. So I got lucky on a few deals. This is a Life Fitness uh, leg press. You know, to fix my posture and just be stronger overall in general, I, I've been working my legs a bit more. So we did get some leg equipment in here. This is really nice, great condition machine. Again, super, super expensive new, but... When you get it used, it's nice. I like doing the, the leg movements on machines. It's lower impact. It takes a lot of stress off the joints. And you can really flex and squeeze the muscle easier. Next leg machine we got is a leg extension. I think this one is pre-core. Yeah, we actually have like one piece of equipment from each of the big names. Like there's a Cybex there. There's a pre-core. That's a Life Fitness. I think that's Life Fitness too, and something in there might be pre-core too, but all, all big commercial equipment names. 
I like the leg press for doing like glute extensions using this. I don't really use it for quads that much, but again, a low impact leg workout that you can really squeeze the muscle on, take the stress off the joints. This is a, a rogue glute ham extension. I like doing reverse hyper extensions on this. I, you know, I, I grab onto the platform there and then do reverse hyper extensions. This is a sit-up bench. I don't think I'm going to use, but it was 50 bucks, so <laughs> I just decided to grab it. Uh, if I if I got a lat pull down, I'd probably take this out of here, shift everything over, and put the lat pull down in somewhere. And this is just the regular hyper extension. So you know I can do my reverse hyper extensions uh, for the posterior chain, and then I can do uh, regular hyper extensions for posterior chain. Show you guys the leg press. We did a whole video on the tanning bed, which is nice. I use it you know once a week, once every two weeks, just to keep my face and. Uh, everything is tan as the rest of my body. And then this is probably my favorite piece of equipment in the gym. It's uh, an assisted dip pull-up machine. And when you're able to take weight off your body and do dips and pull-ups, you're really able to flex and squeeze the muscle in comparison to like dips where your shoulders and triceps are under a lot of stress and pull-ups where your biceps and forearms are under a lot of stress. And I think this was only like $500. So I got a really good deal on this uh, assisted dip chin up machine. However, this thing was heavy and a nightmare to get in here. Also worried it was too tall for the ceiling, but it barely fits. And uh, you would think like when doing the movement, my head would hit the ceiling, but no, it's actually good. It's not that close. Uh, but that's what we got in here, guys. Assisted chin up dip, nice, great condition leg extension and leg press. These are really smooth, great glute ham extension, sit-ups, and then we got the reverse hyper extension, all on uh, used horse mats. I think these were like 30 bucks each when I bought them. Now they're probably way more expensive, but uh, it's, it's really, really affordable gym flooring. Uh, if you guys are looking for it, look up horse mats and you'll probably find like uh, some type of farm or tractor supply near you. Yeah, so I was having a lot of shoulder and back issues between like sitting in my computer and driving around in my car for several hours a day in New York. Now that I'm doing, you know, more back and more leg exercises and shoulder stuff, I've been feeling a lot better. My posture's better. I don't really have pain anymore. Uh, so a lot of this equipment that I bought is specifically catered to, you know, me just doing a quick, you know, 15, 20 minute low impact workout to stimulate everything. So I'll do a lot of the leg stuff to work my lower back and legs because of the sitting at the chair. And then I'll do some shoulder stuff and chest and back stuff just to keep the upper body stimulated. But you know, as I said earlier, for the commuting to the gym and the high membership fees in New York, if you have the money, I mean, I didn't have the money. It took me like four or five years to accumulate everything here, buying like one or two pieces at a time. But you do save money in the long term and it's nice to have, you know, all the gym equipment yourself. It's nice and clean. You can work out whenever you want. Yeah, maybe I missed a few things. We'll give you guys another quick look around. Got a kettlebell here. I remember I was training for some sort of personal trainer certification. I don't remember what it's called, but it's pretty popular in the big gyms. Uh, look for it. Uh, these are my favorite lat pull-down extensions. You know, you have the side grip here with the bar. You have the regular lat pull-down bar. And that's just a, a curl bar. Oh, this is actually uh, a rack that I have to set up to put these on, like all the bars and stuff on. So... Maybe I can fit that over here. We got the short rope extensions and the long rope extensions. The long one is really good for like face pulls and stuff. And uh, these are just, I don't think I've ever used these uh, just to attach around your, your ankle and do some glute stuff if you wanted to. This extra barbell right here is a, is a rogue Olympic barbell. It was in really bad shape. I thought it was actually dirty looking at the pictures, but it's just so used up. But again, it was like a $50 Olympic barbell. So I, I didn't really want to pass up on the deal. Yeah, I think that's really everything. But, you know, we do have multiple spots to do pull-ups on and dips on and all that type of stuff. Yeah, so thank you guys for joining me. Uh, if I was really into bodybuilding and working out, I would probably get a different dumbbell set because I don't really like these rubber hex dumbbells. I would get some like full steel ones or something nice. And I'd also get a lap pull down. But right now for me, I'm just trying to be healthy, look good overall, look aesthetic. I don't really care about putting on any more muscle. If you guys are looking for gym equipment, uh, you might have a, a used gym equipment supplier in your area. 
or you might just have to keep an eye on Facebook Marketplace for a while and then actually getting the gym equipment into your house, into your space, that uh, can be a bit of a nightmare. So, you know, this house was easy. It's the garage right there. So it's all at ground level, just wheeled in. And even then it was a pain. So keep in mind, you know, you might have a few thousand dollars worth of used gym equipment that you got a great deal on. That's basically a full gym for that price. However, they might charge you like a thousand bucks to deliver it. And even if they don't, to rent a truck and hire a few guys, you're gonna be spending at least a thousand bucks. And this isn't necessarily something that can be done fast. Uh, unless you find like a really big used gym equipment supplier that has basically everything in stock for some reason. Cause this stuff comes and goes, you know, a lot of the really busy guys will be at liquidations and auctions basically every week, getting in new equipment every week. So, you know, go on Facebook marketplace, get in touch with a few of these guys, figure out what type of equipment you want and then let them know. And then, yeah, it might take you like two or three months, which isn't that long of a period of time, but you can get everything you want. So thank you guys for joining. Uh, we do have my training routine, maximum volume hypertrophy on frank com. if you guys want to check that out. But outside of that, you guys can support all of my unique and creative businesses on the website as well. Thanks for joining, guys. I'll see you soon.